If you're looking for RV camping at the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore on Lake Superior without leaving the mainland, I found a campground you need to know about. Hi Weekend Warriors, I'm Randy, and every Thursday I share tips on everything related to small campers to help us make every moment count, because weekends are just too short. I drove 250 miles, and wait until you see everything there was to do and see along this South Lake Superior shoreline location. The Little Sand Bay Recreation Area Campground is located in Russell, Wisconsin, a scenic and secluded spot just off Lake Superior, approximately 15 miles north of historic Bayfield, Wisconsin, the gateway to the Apostle Islands. Like every campground I visit, I get excited to see where I'll be staying, and immediately I knew this was gonna be a good one. As we neared the campground entrance, I saw Lake Superior right across the road. I'm all unpacked and camp is set up, and I'm so excited to share everything we did and saw at this area of the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore on Lake Superior. But first, let's explore the Little Sand Bay Campground. I want to note that I was here in May of 2020 as the COVID pandemic is hopefully coming to an end. So most of the campground facilities were closed during my visit. This campground has 32 RV campsites and they are large campsites. So I think they are ideal for RVs less than 27 feet, but call them to learn more. I will leave campground contact information in the video description below. The campground had electric hookups and the campground had public showers and what appeared to be new restrooms. They also sell firewood, have a water and sewer dump station, and a pavilion with a large group campfire hangout area. Located directly across the Little Sand Bay Campground is the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore National Park Service Visitor Center. I learned there is a lot of history along this South Lake Superior area. And just beyond the visitor center, I notice a boat. A 38 foot wooden fishing tugboat named Twilight. It says in the 1920s during the fall herring season, the Hokanson brothers fished at night when temperatures were cooler to preserve the catch. And their friends began saying, there go the Twilight fishermen. There's a lot of history here, and boy, if this boat could talk, we'd hear some good fishing stories. Next, we walked down to the Lake Superior shoreline, where we saw an anchor that serves as a memorial for the Savannah Carrier that had wrecked off the northeast corner of Sand Island with the loss of seven people back in 1905. The Little Sand Bay Recreation Area has picnic areas, a marina and a harbor docking area, a boat ramp and a playground. And look at the beautiful sand swimming beach. Water just draws me in and I fell in love with Lake Superior when I saw it for the very first time last year when I camped on the Upper Peninsula Lake Superior shoreline and it just took my breath away. Isn't this gorgeous? And look, right over there is one of the Apostle Islands. I love all of this cool driftwood. And someone had a fire here. Hmm, and that's giving me an idea. I noticed a lot of the campers had fishing boats, so they'd bring them over here to the marina and go fishing for the day. Little Sand Bay Campground is an ideal Lake Superior Fisherman's Campground. It was time to take a walk along the shore and see what I could find. And oh my gosh, look at how beautiful this is. I found this tucked away spot away from the wind and I had something on my mind. Tom and Princess found a comfortable spot to take a nap while I enjoyed building my fire. If you watch my videos, you know I love campfires, but this was pretty special having a fire on the shores of Lake Superior. 
As we walked back, the sun was starting to set and we noticed the fishermen coming in. So we decided to sit and watch them for a while. I wonder, does water calm you as much as it does me? The next day, we noticed a path off of the marina. And it leads to the Hokanson Brothers Fishery. This says, in 1927, the three Hokanson brothers began a new life as fishermen at Little Sand Bay from scratch, and that they methodically built and maintained and operated their commercial fishing complex for 30 years. It also says in 2017, a series of storms damaged the dock and their herring shed. And boy, did a storm ever get a hold of that dock. This is a National Register of Historic Places and where the Hokanson brothers set sail every morning in their homemade tug, Twilight, in search of whatever the lake would provide. But the storm damages to this area make me wonder what preparations they made in the 1920s for unpredictable Mother Nature. Later that evening, I was relaxing at our campsite and it wasn't too much later, I noticed the sun setting. So we walked over to the shoreline to take in the gorgeous sunset views. Wow, the Little Sand Bay Campground turned out to be a gem for RV camping at the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore Mainland and on Lake Superior. But as I sit on the shore, I can't help but wonder what it would be like to actually bring my little guy Max trailer and camp on one of the Apostle Islands. I am so excited to share with you that I'm going to Madeline Island, the largest of the 22 Apostle Islands, later this summer. And I need to take a ferry with my little guy Max trailer to get there. This is going to be an epic adventure. So, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell located right below this video. That way you'll be notified when I do publish it. And I can't wait to share more of Lake Superior and the Apostle Islands with you.